Hey, this is Politics with Laura. I have a good one for you, but it's very interesting on one hand and disturbing on the other for allowing all this to happen. Now, earlier this morning, I was on Twitter and I saw something that disturbed me to the point to where it not only shook my core, but it made me start this to make this video. All right. Pink, Pink Branch High School is in Burtonsville, Maryland. And there was a fight, and I'm not saying there's always fights in school, but these fights are getting worse. And the policies of high schools, they are laxing to where behavior becomes sanctioned and normalized to where if you do a certain thing, you can still stay within a school to where you were expelled. Parents, a lot of this falls on you because you pushed for saying, oh, well, that's racist. Oh, that, that's prejudiced. Oh, stop it. You need to stop. If your child is acting a fool and out of control within a classroom and stopping the flow of academics because they want to act a fool, that is not prejudice. That is not racism. That is a disciplinary problem because you did not put your foot in your child's butt to make them behave and to be a productive part of society, not a drug of humanity. You may think I'm being mean. No, I'm not being mean. I'm not being mean enough because this is outrageous to the point to where you had one student getting beat up by several students. Now, I hope the parent of that one student sues all of those students who jumped on that one student. And just the fact, and, and matter of fact, you're going to see the one boy who has nothing to do with it, comes, runs in, and hits the boy and runs away. He needs to be sued twice. Just in my humble opinion. I don't like bullies. I don't. I don't like people that jump other people. I don't. Most of all, I don't like people who go in the realm of academics and destroy it. And and, and then if you're talking about how you feel, you need to get put out too. And I'm talking about everyone who talks about that because look, how you feel doesn't pay your rent, doesn't put food on your table, it doesn't uh, pay your electric electric bill, and and the grocery person going to the grocery store don't give a darn about how you feel. Pay for it. So let's stop it. Let's stop all this dumb stuff. So. Okay, I'm done. So, which made me look at the school. I brought up the school um, mission statement and um, vision statement, and I'm like, oop, I knew it. I knew it. This principle needs to be looked at, criticized, and taken back to the table to revise this stuff and to revamp the educa uh, um, these the schools uh, uh, the school vision and the school mission statement goes throughout the curriculum within the school. Whomever was the curriculum specialist that helped the principal with this, and if the principal did not use a curriculum speci specialist, Oh, someone may, may want to look into your licensing and that's dangerous because schools build societies. And if you look at the crazy mess that we have now, the schools have failed on so many different levels. But let's not forget the parents because the parents are the ones who are producing this, allowing this, sanctioning this and relaxing the policies because they don't want to do anything with their children. If you don't like what I'm saying, look at your neighborhood, look at your neighborhood school and see all the craziness and then come back and say, well, you're wrong. Prove it. 
I'll show you this video. But before I get to that, check this out. You can't, you can't make this stuff up. I screenshot, I try to do it different ways. It didn't work, but. Okay, the vision statement. Like I said, you can't make this up. Vision statement. Paint Branch High School, a community where students are valued, engaged, and empowered every day. That's the vision. One sentence. Students are valued. How? I, I, I did not see any students being valued in that hallway to where that one student was getting a slobber knocker beat out of them. Engaged. Yeah, the students were engaged in slobber knocking that student. Empowered. Yeah, the students were empowered to do that to that student. You need to revamp this stuff. Mission statement. It gets better. Our mission is to empower our community to live the paint branch way through effort, excellence, equity, and empathy. Okay, let's, let's, let's get to break this down. Empathy, I did not see any empathy at all. The only thing I saw was hatred, anger, and despair. Equity. What equity are you talking about? Equity of outcome or equity of opportunity? Because they had the equity of opportunity of beating a slobber knocker out of that student. Excellence. I didn't see any excellence. Not a one. And effort, they had to, they, they most definitely took effort to do that. And this right here lays, all of this lays at the foot of the principal. Because the principal is the head administrator that allowed this stuff to go on. The administrator knew this was going on and did next to nothing about it. And, and uh, Maryland, uh, Montgomery County, you need to do better because this right here is outrageous. Outrageous. You need to do a better job. You're getting paid all of that money through the taxpayers and producing what? What are you producing? Gladiators? Oof. You can't make this stuff up. But check out the video that I'm going to place in the community section. Because I can't, I can't put it on here. It is outrageous. It's despicable on so many different levels. But on that note, tell me what you think. Additional information to this video, and it gets worse. A tweet. For the past two days, several fights have broken out at or near Paint Branch High School, involving parents as well. Today, a weapon was seen during a fight involving a group at nearly... Um, a group at the nearby Popeyes. The crowd has dispersed. However, police are staying in the area. Like I said, you can't make this stuff up. Parents, that's why I said you need to sue the parents. Look at their behavior. This is outrageous. We are in trouble as a society.